Hey folks, I'm Joe Everett. This is Everett Barbecue, Indianapolis, Indiana. It's Saturday. Notre Dame's about to kick the crap out of Duke, so I think we're gonna smoke a meatloaf, wrap it in bacon, stuff it with cheese and jalapenos. Let's do it. all this around the cheese. Uh, I was thinking about rolling this, but I think I'll try the in total 100% transparency. I got this recipe from a fella out on YouTube. His name's escaping me, but his channel is It's All About the Rack. If you like what I'm doing, you should definitely check out his videos. This man is extremely knowledgeable has uh, likely forgotten more about smoking meats than I'll ever learn, but um, yeah, check out, it's all about the rack. I got the premise of this recipe from him. I'm not using similar seasonings, uh, but it's the basic same principles by design. I'm just adding some jalapenos to my baby bells, but what we've got is a nice base layer here. And on top of our meat sheet, we're going to build a little bit of a, some meat walls. Who doesn't want meat walls? That's how I'll defend myself. Forget the pandemic. You got to defend yourself with a meat wall. Mm -hmm. Just kind of form the guy up into a ridge here. Not too high. Stack them, 10 high on Heartbreak Ridge. I'm gonna get a little bit of, I think I've used a bit much here, so I'm trying to caress these guys. Now we're gonna stuff this bad mamma jamma with some cheese. Saving ourselves some time by taking those out in advance. Uh, wouldn't you know it? I think nine might do it. Oh, come on. You know, we're gonna go a little extra credit. Never hurt nobody. What I wanted to try and do is kick this up a notch with some jalapenos. We get them on either side. A little spice of life in here. I want too much barrier. I'm kind of worried this may fall apart in my smoker, but 
Let's see little flavor saver for later. Okay, they do good. I want to just kind of hug this up around. And uh, you can probably see the bowl. If you can't, we've preserved some meat that we're going to need to sort of surround this bad hombre. Ooh. about my end pieces so I'm gonna try and form a little bit more meat there. Last thing we want is some mozzarella. Baby milk cheese just sparking out of the sockets on me. Have mercy. What about the chili? Alright, and then we've got a meat roof. Meat walls, meat roof, meat floor. It is a meat house with little cheese children living in it. And they're chasing their dreams. You better believe it, Buster. I'm gonna send that meat baby off to college. Be the first, I guess it'd be a cheese baby. Okay. Almost. I'm gonna press it down. Almost like the top of a hoagie roll here. Have some flatness about it. Proper loaf to wrap in the burger. It's time to make a greasy old bacon wheel. This one's gonna be the tricky, tricky. There it is. I think we're ready. Wanna wash our hands? Throw this bad boy on the smoke go at 275. Huh. Almost forgot. Oh yeah. Okay. 
put our little tumbleweed in here. Turn the beast on. Um, temperature. We'll go 275 for this cook. this guy I don't know if you can pick it up over the audio over uh, Mr. Lunk here um, fan just kicked on but actually before it gets carried away hopefully this doesn't mess up we are gonna smoke here so I'm gonna add these uh, just throwing some hickory chunks on the uh, meatloaf today and We'll see how it works throwing these in the uh, pan. Hopefully that is not too much smoke. We're about to find out. All right, we're at 275 on the uh, master built. The hickory chunks putting out a little bit more smoke than I had intended. But I checked in the bin, they're about burned out. So this is not exactly normal but uh, we'll let some of this smoke out I'm gonna go ahead and convenience sake just pop this rack in there hopefully find a way not to burn ourselves and at the same time and enjoy some good cooking it's been a good hour plus so we'll see how she's looking and uh, put a little spritz on there if the rubs. Now it's still coming off in parts. Just a little switch. This is just water. Coming out nice. Dry out completely and uh, this is the probe supplied by the wonderful people at Master Belt here. Mighty considerate of them. It's a gigantic uh, nozzle as you can see but I'm just gonna try and uh, probe this guy in here I want to get the cheese but I also don't want to really mess with the construction so plug this guy in here and be able to press the probe ah 126 that's fair. All right. Wanted to throw in that if you love smoking meats like me, cooking outdoors with charcoal, wood splits, tack even pellets, I don't care what you're cooking outside, but with fire, get one of these. In all seriousness, you're out there having fun. Have it at hand, have it on the ready. I'm kicking in this new smoker, don't know much about it. Something goes wrong that I've heard about, a, a little fire accident, I'm gonna be ready. If you don't have one of these, pause the video right now. Go to your hardware store, whatever store you got. Get one, come on back, click subscribe, the like, ring the bell, I don't know what the F you do, but get one of these. Very important if you're cooking outside, and heck, if, if, you, if you live in an apartment or a home, I don't care where you live. Know where it is if you don't have one. And if you don't know where it is, again, pause this video and find out where. It's uh, real important. PSA over. We're about one, whoa, not about, We've got the probe in there. Be a pro. <laughs> Lock somebody, be a pro. 157 degrees, so oof, things looking great. Just gonna do a little, little glaze here. Hopefully not get too much in this new grill, but you know, it's barbecue, you're gonna get it messy. Had this sitting out with me for the last hour. It's just a mix of uh, this rib rack honey, little apple cider vinegar, 
hopefully drizzle all over the sides there. This will cook in. Just take her to 160. We're at 157 right now. Hopefully they didn't cool it down too much. Like I said, we put her on room temperature. We're taking this off at a buck sixty. It says at one sixty one. Oh that glaze worked out great. Okie doke. I think we'll just go ahead and pull this probe out. Thank you, sir. You've served well, bro. And I touched the top rack of it again. I'm looking fine. All right, we're off the grill. Well, the smoker. The old master built got her done, and it's uh, time to cut into this bad boy after a nice rest. Hopefully, the magic has done its job there. Jalapeno cheese melting out the sides. Everybody, be careful. Hey, you get back in there, you. Well. I think it worked out. Veggies on the side, enjoy.